Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another Friday Filler. And this week, we're gonna talk about thermal clothing, how to layer properly, base layers, different ways of layering, how to get laid. No, hey, definitely not that. I'm not the authority on that, but I do know some stuff about layering and thermals, and that's what we're gonna do. Over the years, I've tried so many different ways of layering, so many different brands of thermal layers, thick ones, thin ones, medium ones, cheap ones, expensive ones, everything in between. And I'm pretty sure I've got it down to a pretty fine art now. So I'm gonna run you through generally what I use, when I use it, and just how I go about thinking about things. Hopefully that will help you get your head around things if you're not quite sure what you're doing. First things first, the way I layer changes as the season goes on. Early season, late season, when the weather is generally colder. It is freezing. Rainier, just generally crapper. I'll layer very differently to how I do in the middle of summer when I'm wet wading and you know, things are all fluffy and delicious. It's so hot, so hot right now, like a hot little potato. It's never a one size fits all or one thing will do you for the entire season because it just doesn't work like that here. I'm sure there's other places in the world just the same as New Zealand. You can have all four seasons in one day. Things start off great and by lunchtime it's completely flipped on its head and it's just miserable, cold, windy. And if you're not prepared and you don't have the right kind of layering system in place, at best you can find yourself just having a really, really miserable day and at worst you could be actually in a lot of trouble. So you definitely have to up your game early season and late season. Usually you're gonna be wearing waders because it's not warm enough to wet wader or any of that kind of good stuff yet. So it's super important to kind of get that right. You go too much on the layering system and you generally just sweat and then you get cold because the sweat goes cold when you stop. And if you don't have enough, when you're just cold all day and it's just not a fun time. So what I tend to do is when I'm wearing waders, I will always wear thermal leggings. I will all have some kind of a base layer like this and then I will layer on top of that according to what I think the day is gonna be like, weather-wise and also fishing-wise. You know, whether I'm doing a local river, not moving around too much, or I'm doing big walks in places, lots of scrambling, lots of physical stuff, and then to get back out. You have to have different scenarios covered, and that's what I tend to do. Now recently, over the last season, I found my way onto Bushbuck stuff. I've actually used quite a few Bushbuck products in the last year or so, and I'm super impressed with them. They've brought out like a new range of thermals, like base layer stuff like this. It's called the Combat Series. So there's a Combat Leggings, there's a Combat Hoodie like this, and there's also a couple other things that I use that I'll, I'll show you as well as that. To start with, leggings. These are a base layer, so they are the first thing to go on next to your skin and then you can layer stuff on top of that. Now I've been running these combat leggings for the last season now and they are awesome. One of the problems I've tended to have over the years with leggings, especially when I'm wet wading, like boots and shorts and leggings kind of style, is that because of all the bush bashing and scrambling around in the river, climbing over rocks and that kind of stuff, is that they very quickly wear around the knees and they kind of break open, get big holes in them, and they generally just don't last very long. Now, one of the key things about this new combat range is that it's, I don't know the exact numbers here, but it's about 50 something percent merino, and the rest of it is like uh, cordura nylon, so it's a nice mix. Since I've got these, every time I go out and I wear waders, I've been wearing these, and they're just, they're just going strong. They haven't shown any sign of wear yet, they're warm, they're comfortable, they do all the you know moisture wicking stuff, everything they're supposed to do, they do really, really well. This hoodie here, this top right here, this is from the same range, this is the combat hoodie here. It's a long sleeve, half zip hoodie. I mean, I would live in these things. I didn't even fish today and I just, I just rock around in them because they're so comfortable, they're so warm, they're so good. So you can kind of wear them, you know, zip kind of open, sleeves rolled up. As soon as it gets cold, you can roll these sleeves down. They have these great thumb holes, which I love. And once you put the hood up and you do this bad boy up, even when the weather closes in, you have your jackets on, your hood up, this is all super contained and really warm. So all I tend to do with this is I run this as a base layer and then I'll just layer on top accordingly. 
for the most part, all I do is add a t-shirt like this, and I will generally fish like this most of the time. Base layer, t-shirt, potentially a rain jacket or a thicker, warmer winter rain jacket. And if it's really, really cold, I could even put a puffer jacket on top of this underneath my raincoat. It just gives you options. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Same with everything in life. You get what you pay for. These thermals are definitely up there on the price scale, but they are super good quality. They are really, really well made. And the amount of time these are gonna last me, if you break that total price down into price per wear over the next two or three years, it's nothing. And you really can't put a price on being warm and comfortable when you're out there in the elements because let's face it, we've all been there. As soon as you start getting cold, as soon as you start getting wet, as soon as you start getting miserable and you basically just don't have a good time, you don't stay out there as long so you don't catch as many fish and you don't put yourself in as many situations where you could potentially catch that fish or after. So same with gear, clothing is super important. I reckon spend the money, get the good stuff. Then it's gonna mean a more enjoyable day for you where you can stay out longer and hopefully catch more fish. The other thing I use a ton, especially in the warmer months where in New Zealand, even if it's a nice hot summer's day, generally early mornings can be pretty chilly still, especially if you're in like tight, gorgy country and it takes a while for the sun to get up and get the sun onto the river. It can be pretty cold in the morning. And that's when I'll use something a little bit more lightweight like this bush bug t-shirt. This is the base layer. Again, it's a t-shirt. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll leave it in the link in the description below. And this is just the Merino t-shirt. It's again, a base layer. It's really lightweight, but it's really, really warm. And you can wear that underneath a shirt or, or, a, or a sun hoodie or whatever it is you wear. It just keeps you from being super cold in the morning. Run that, run your shirt, Chuck a rain jacket over the top first thing in the morning and you just kind of, you kind of stay comfortable till the sun comes up and then you can start to take those layers off accordingly to how you're feeling. The other thing I really recommend you do is you have something like this in your pack, especially if you're going back country, you're a long way from the truck. Certainly early and late season when things are cold, you're wearing waders, that kind of stuff. Now in here, this is just a fish pond kind of I don't know, pouchy thing, waterproof pouch. In here, I've got myself some thermal leggings, a long sleeve thermal top, and a spare pair of socks. And that stays in my pack in case, yeah, you guessed it, in case I fall in. And I've done it a couple of times now. I've fallen in, in waders, taken on a heap of water. It's a crappy day. I'm a long way away from the truck, like hours and hours away from the truck. And it's been an absolute day saver. You fall in, you fill your waders full of water, you get out, you empty your waders, then you take off your wet base layers, replace them with dry stuff, dry out the waders as best you can, and then put them back on and get going. It's not super comfortable, but just having that dry set of base layer clothing in there changes your day from being really, really miserable and potentially getting hypothermia and being in real trouble to just being a little bit damp and being able to carry on your day nice and warm and just a funny story. It really doesn't take up much space in your pack and you'll be super glad you did. The other thing worth mentioning is I have a spare pair of this top and leggings that I use for my camp clothes when I'm doing overnight stuff. So when I finish fishing at the end of the day, I can come back, take off my wet stuff, jump into my dry stuff, and this keeps you super warm around camp. Even if it's cold at night, I can just sleep in them as well. So I keep my camp clothes separate from my fishing clothes, and that way I've always got dry, comfy clothes to change into at the end of the day. <laughs> Finally, their beanie is so good. I mean, I enjoy a beanie at the best of times, but this thing is super comfortable, it's super warm, packs up tiny, great for overnight stuff, camp clothes, round the fire, whew, this guy goes on. You could even put it on underneath a cap or something if you wanted to, if you got super cold in the day, because it's really thin, it's not bulky. Again, merino base, nice quality. I've had this thing ages and I wear it pretty much every single day. Like I say, I've tried a lot of products over the years, most of the products over the years to be fair, and I really haven't found anything better than this bush buck stuff. So I could highly recommend it. The link's in the description below if you want to just go and check out some of the stuff they've got. They've got heaps of other stuff as well. It's primarily a hunting brand, but there's a lot of stuff that they have that I've been using that has been working really well for me in that whole fishing scene. Hope this was interesting. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.